Hello and welcome back to House Fine 4 with our China campaign of the Great War. And we are, as, well, previous episodes, we're still preparing for war. And yeah, uh, by kind of building as many forces as we can. Yeah, we're in that state of the game. It is not the most interesting, but it is something that kind of needs to happen. So, just waiting for this infantry equipment to be equipped. So this guy is trained as much as he can, because he's around 93. You should go to 93, then you can still... Oh, wait, there's still... Okay, so we're waiting for a lot of support equipment to be still delivered. That is perfectly fine. On the background, I'm kind of training. Okay, so these are just some... This is going to cost me a lot of equipment, but I just want to get these two guys. Get up there. Come on, 99. 95. 96. 97, come on. 98, woo! Skip 1%. 99, and 100%. Okay, so these guys are all considered experienced regulars. Okay, now let's take a look at the naval. Yeah, I might as well go for the proper battle cruisers. Let's upgrade our submarines though. Nice, uh, you are fully trained. You're fully trained. Or not. But we only have one division training at the time. So support equipment and field guns. Okay, I want let's see, that's 13 that I need in total. I think I actually have 13 uh in this list. Uh 13 plus these 16, 19. I think I've got 13 military factories up here. I might not have though. Well, I probably should just do this. This is just uh, ready to be built anyway. Just sitting there, so what I'll you know, add it. But these are more important than any, any of the others, so. Right, I can just add them in there, get that all up and running. Max out these harbors. Now, I don't really need to max this one out right now. So, go down. Alright, let's start industry production again. Aviation effort. Well, aircraft production. I don't think it's going to change anything in, on the side of production, but, you know. It's something. Well, they're suffering attrition. We're not. That's good. We will get there at some point. Let's see. You've got your support equipment. Just, just you that needs support equipment? Yep. That's nice. Wow, these guys are almost all trained. Well, let's deploy you. Uh, okay, have your artillery ready. This is quite a little bit ahead of time. Uh, there's some navy research I could do. Uh, battle cruisers are legitimately stuff we kind of need, so. Right. Um, you add it on, but your front line is this bit here. All right. And there we go. Good. Let's see. You're trained. You should not train yet. You are trained. You are trained. You're not. There are those guys. I can't say if they've got unique models for the Chinese. No, I don't think they have. I don't think there's... They've got some basic events written down, but I don't think there's much. Especially not, you know, Japan as a, as a fascist. I mean, China. Japan has got unique models, it looks like, with the star there. I think that's Japanese, the golden um, crescent. No, that's not a crescent. Uh...
It's a star, it's a flower. Uh, a clover? Nah. Uh, uh, golden army thingy. Alright, uh, getting a lot of stuff, but I'm definitely not getting what I'm looking for. Um, it's that little golden flower thing. I ah, can't find it. Ah, who cares? Mass assault, ready. So, what does this do? Supply, grace. Oh, I, I minus 10 our supply. Nice. Yeah, that might actually help us. Pretty good. So, 1.8k of that. This now, I think, is fairly even production. Because um, this could produce like twice as fast. And this is an upgrade needed. This is good. This is still a total need, but they will not produce that quick. I like it. I like it a lot. Aircraft production ready. Pilot formation flying. What's this? I think it's for doctrine of research. You guys are ready. Ah, oh, the warrior in town is gonna be a bitch. I th shit, I forgot to check out the Russians. No, I gotta do that real quick, actually. So, save the game real quick. I just want to know what they've done, because either he's, I'm, I can wait for it, or I can't, so... Attack, Russ. All of a sudden, we're Russia. How does that even work? Um, right, so they will never go. They've got the Tsar th Authority. Uh, national Unity, National Unity, National Unity. All right. Uh. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. No, I don't know the Chinese tag. Uh, it's not China. It's not Qing. Really? It's not China. Simple. I don't know what the tag is. So that means the Russians will never break. So that means that this is the only solution that we have. As terrible as it sounds. So he went for the, the, the disgusting Tsar uh, authority. So this is getting communism out. Uh, nationalism. This could become fascist. So this is fascism. This is staying in the, the where they are. This is becoming democratic, and this is becoming Marxist. This is how. Okay, so there. This is their natural. This is kind of randomized. So we've been lucky, I guess, in our American campaign that they actually went for this. Um, so, wow. That's kind of interesting. Um, 1922. Let's go over Battle Cruiser 4 before we start building them again. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, but that, that, that means that the only option we have is to go to War with the Anton. Something that I don't want to really do, but, you know, seems like the only option available to us. Wait, field guns are being deployed for... Oh, that's nice. It's all for new deployment here. That's great. All right, you're fully trained. Good. Now we just need to train this army. That's gonna be a bitch on supply, but whatever. But I mean, it means these guys will deploy it fully equipped. Nice. Uh, once I get all the armies, I will not train 24 divisions at a time. We'll train like four. That some of the equipment will go there, but most equipment will be available for our forces. Because uh, I don't want to risk, you know, 
them not having the equipment. Uh, that means we're actually going to deploy. Um, because... I want to ensure that we don't get some out of some weird deployment shit. I could say like let's deploy another eight and just balance out these forces. That makes kind of sense. Because these are our field armies, why not make them bigger? Probably merge these field armies up to the Russian front eventually. Okay, so we'll deploy another one. Pause. One. Okay, so let's get these towards eight. Okay, that means we got a legitimate army again with you. Set up here. Go, and you're allowed to train. You know what? I have a better idea. It's 18, 23, 24. I'm gonna give both of these armies just another full division. It also gives us a uh, more even number. Uh, escort, fighter detection, this is bomber, bomber. I'm mostly working with fighters for now, anyhow. Uh, right, uh, aviation effort. Uh, bit -bit 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 -bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, probably gonna do something a bit strange, like using a fully deployed and equipped army. I'm gonna replace one group. Okay. So I've got something up my sleeve here. Um, You're training, but you're not really training, because you still need to arrive. Not air training. Look at them go! Training like they're hard. Life depends on it. Okay. Um, that might have been a bit weird, but it, had, it does make sense in some way. Um, right. Uh, these guys can be added on. Like half of you go here. Other half of you go here. Alright, that arm, entire army can go train. And then there's now there's a serious lack of equipment again. Like, look at that 40,000. 131 days, 150 days, like 400 days, and 156 days. Okay! So support equipment is a our primary issue now. Destroyers four. Do you have to research anything? Um, let's see. One of these is two of these. So there we go. Okay. Nice. Production is in full swing. I just need to deploy one more army and then I still need, you know, background production to even run these armies. Which we don't have. We don't have the uh, industrial power to run a, an army this size, I think. As weird as it sounds. There's a lot of forces once again are deployed with crap equipment. So first we're reinforcing, 25,000, okay, so we're soon starting to use equipment again for new deployments, that's good. Uh, same goes for this one, this is mostly still reinforcement, okay, and uh, this is also mostly reinforcement, that's not too bad. I wish you could speed up the game even further, but we are now running at how many forces? 350, that's nice. Decent large scale equipments, uh, equipment, uh, divisions, like, we still don't, I don't know if we stand a chance against Russia. 
I would almost say like, yeah, well, let's start digging in but with the amount of production that that takes. There's no use to go with trenches, right? Could take as much almost as much as construction cost anyway. Uh, bombing effort, whatever. Okay, so these guys are starting to get equipment. That's nice. It's probably just infantry equipment. Yep. Okay, so when we fight, it is literally us versus the world. I could, if I wanted to, start boosting fascism in certain nations. Let's see if that kind of... Oh, that's going to be a fun thing to do. Why don't we start boosting fascism in, in here? Who's the leader of the Volkshik? Fascism... These are Tsarists. So they still are in favor of the Tsar, it doesn't, doesn't change much. Romanov. But yeah, boosting fascism towards Germany and the United States actually doesn't really seem like a bad idea. I don't know if... Um, Supporting this is gonna make much of a change. 0.10%. That's not too bad, actually. That seems about as much as we can get. I don't know if the US has like got the uh, automatic uh, dem democracy ideas. I uh, will notice it that sooner rather than later. In the US, that means that the Ku Klux Klan will get into power, I think. Yeah, that's weird, but sure. That's the party name they gave. There's probably something different there for it, but sure. You know, I'm not gonna judge the bot developer on that one. Um, let's see. Let's make you submarine three. But first, add on a new ship, the heavy, the battle cruiser force. Okay, so submarine fleet, Chinese flotilla, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we have the these two puppies merge them up. That is thirty-eight. That is forty. So it's sixty-two. Clicking my heart out. Uh, there we go. And there are resources needed, like oil, uh, aluminium, steel, and chromium. And this is a surplus. There we go. Okay. Reinforcement. Deployment. Deployment. And reinforcement. Let's get through those first. Um, let's finish these three. In a correct order, please. Then we'll go through these mergers and then uh, or these changing the factories. This looks like hell, by the way. <laughs> These are almost trained. So what I'm going to do is um, this division here will add on an entire new division, these uh, crab guys. That will send the well-trained guys up here to the Russian front. Um, so this that entire army doesn't need to train anymore. Um, then, you know, the new guys will take over this position. So they take uh, this need to replan. And then we'll train the uh, India army. Which is still called the British Raj. Here. Um, and then we'll work from there. It is that simple. Okay, so you can have a... I think you can have, you know, a full plot. 
draw a battle plan. What is the battle plan? Well, definitely not this. It is just this. That means that you will not strike from there. Only from there. Okay, so... I have 22 selected. That annoys me. Ah, uh, whatever. That'll be fine. These guys are just here to look pretty. What's the worst declared? I might as well redraw this entire front. It doesn't change much. Yeah, that works. But for now, they have a, uh, at least a target to work on. Okay, uh, you're almost done training. That's nice. Uh, that's this army, sorry. Not really an episode where it's happening much, but you know, I am making preparations to take over the most scary nation in the world. I am not expecting too much to happen. Okay, um... Need a little bit more of that, because now I did notice something weird. No, okay, we just... There we go, you guys are ready. Well, not fully equipped yet. Shit's gonna hit the fan though. And it's not gonna be pretty. So I can deploy all this. And start cancelling like a lot of them. There we go. Train infantry divisions. Like four at a time. Low priority. Even there's even higher priority in upgrades now. Okay, so this army is gonna be go right there. They're old revolutionary armies, didn't know that we still had those. Okay, um, these guys are gonna be added on to that. So that just keeps this front in place, and that will add these guys to those guys. And yeah, that doesn't change much. So that's this army that just needs to train. They're lacking most of their equipment. So we've got two armies that should be training right now. Well, let's start training them. Oh, wait, you have issues already. That's right here. Um, this is called Tibet. Uh, let's see, Kirinara, Tibet. There we go. A limit of 32 for our local. And, all right, well, ever. Tibet should be. Okay, that should fix some of it, because we're now using less supply. Okay, they can entrench themselves further, that's good. Okay, so a lot of minor movements everywhere. Okay, you're trained, you're trained, you're trained, you're training, you're trained, you're trained, you're trained, and you're trained. Nice. We just need a lot of equipment. And then we're good to go. I like that. Germany, how's your fascism going, coming along? It's doing pretty well. It's 22% of your population is in support of fascists. There's even an almost 10% support for Ku Klux Klan in the US. That just feels so wrong. But hey, I can't force them towards communism, so... Because it doesn't exist. Communism literally does not exist in this world. Strangely enough. Uh, Adam of the Cat. Yeah, well, at some point I would like to build them, but I'm not gonna do it probably ever. So that's what we're working on. This is something we've been working on. This is uh, this is something we could work on. But yeah, getting Germany to flip again. 
They will probably not leave the Entente, though. That's the funny bit, I guess. Oh, they're finally taking Sophia? I wonder what the peace deal will be. But them, you know, having a different... They're already in the faction, so they'll probably not leave. But... I might, like, may set up a little revolt during my attacks. And that might, you know, change a couple of things. So if they have more than 50%, we'll start boosting, uh, start supporting uh, a coup. And hopefully, you know, that might cause enough friction for us to kick these damn Westerners out of Asia, which belong to, you know, China. You know, it makes sense, right? B formation flying. More fighter detection. Let's look here. Okay, so this is going well. This is going really well. Nice. What are we looking at for equipment? We're probably losing more daily than we're getting, but... How long does these conversions last? Jesus. This for 34th, 51. Okay, was, so Central Asia, there is... But there's not any attrition? Ah, there is attrition, good training. Of course, of course, but, you know, South Asia, there's attrition to training. A little bit difficult to say where there's true attrition. This is 1936. Now, I'm not going to build any battleships at... Uh, anytime soon, but perhaps eventually I will add them on. I don't know. Nice, we'll have our first one ready soon, Battlecruiser. The thing is, right, we gonna need those to box up against uh, <laughs> the damn Japanese, which have a hundred and something ships, and we're sitting there with our tiny fleet, like, <laughs> hello, we're gonna face against you. We've got 13 destroyers, 15 light cruisers, five battle cruisers, and probably should just add some heavy cruisers. Uh, like 10 of them or something. You know, do this after. And then we'll, then we'll see how far we'll get. Okay, a lot of training is nearly done already. Let's go quick. The field commanders train quicker or something? I don't know. Looks like it. All right. That might that makes does make some sense. So I now know which forces do not have a mission assigned to them. So I can actually change that now, good. Just waiting for the final ones. Ah, uh, these are gonna take some time, that makes sense. I wish the rest of them would just stop training once they reach the level which you cannot surpass with training. It would save quite a bit of attrition. But hey, that's about all you can do. I can, however, now assign proper Orders to... Wait, these guys don't have any orders. I don't know how that works. Like, no, that's not gonna work. Um, aviation effort. I just wanna select these. There's 18 divisions assigned. Somehow I get 22. It means there are four divisions somewhere here. Hmm. You know what? What half of you? Right there. Other half. Right there. That means that these are 18. That works. I have too, too many here. Well. Fix it like that. There we go. That works. And then there is 
just you guys that can assist with this. There we go. Now all of you should be getting an invasion planning. All right, armies are getting trained up and are ready to roll. Okay, we finally got infantry equipment. We still need a lot of support equipment. It's gonna take a while before we can actually go to war, I think. Just need a final bit of training. I might prioritize actually building my factories right now. Uh, my um, military factories, because you know, add on that little bit more production, it's gonna speed up at least some of it. Okay, almost there. This is the final one. I guess, yeah. Uh, you're at 975, so yeah, this, this large armor will be ready before that. 89, 90, 91, 92. Come on, just give me the last little bit. This would allow us, you know, to get equipment back to our forces. Okay, great. Stop training. No attrition anywhere. That is some poor supply, but whatever. Alright, final guy. Oh, we ran out of diplomatic actions. We're losing how much a day? Oh, ideology boosting is incredibly expensive. Holy shit. Um, Germany's not that important. Germany's not that important. Getting the US? That is. Well, when that is done... Um, Mm, daily fascism support for us is no longer necessary. Can I get? Is it regarded as like more? Um, no, I don't think we have one. I can't remember what they're called. No, we don't have one. Might be this guy actually. Yeah, Wang Shuang. We have a guy here. So there are people in this slot, but just. Some other game decided that, you know. Uh, so, oh, wait, this is. Oh, wait, this is advanced. For a second, I was like, wait, this is not advancing? And they, are they still changing the daily, or is it just wasting a couple of points, or just a parcel effect? Looks like there's no advancement at all. Yeah, we're not gonna. Spend any more points. So we gain 2.3 a day. So we need to wait again a while. So we start, start putting again. Ah, that sucks. It's that expensive. Data drift of 0 0.8. Retinal tools. Alright, well. We're in 23. Needs new weapons. There was something I remembered. I was like, ah, yeah, right. right I could just get some, you know, some actual proper stuff. And there's just some artillery. Wait, artillery is filled up? Nice, just a lot of support equipment. Uh, let's take a look at support equipment. Up, up, up. Um, if this is ready, let's just do it like that and add some support equipment. And probably when the support equipment is there, we'll take a minor switch into, let's see, 57 days, 88 days. This will probably work. Well, I might need some more um, actual infantry equipment though. Let's see, how many more 
military factions am I getting? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that literally all there's left? Yep. Yep, there is. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Or hopefully we'll attack the Enhant. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.